Genshin Impact drops in a new Hydro Archer and Electric Sword user, Dauntless shows off its new element changing behemoth, New World's latest update focuses on PvP and arenas, and it looks like the season of the Haunted just made it to Destiny 2. What's good everyone, James Blonde here with your weekly recap for gaming news and announcements of the week of May 27th, 2022. And massively multiplayer monster collector and battler Tim Tim has announced it's finally ready to come out of early access and will launch on September 6th this year. The launch update will include the start of the seasonal updates, regular battle passes, new weekly quests, and the final in-game island. Starting this week, players can now pre-order both digital and physical versions of the game via Humble Store, Steam, PlayStation Store, and Xbox. Xbox store with Switch pre-orders coming soon after. If you love Pokemon or Digimon style games, you definitely need to check this one out. Heads up Genshin Impact players, after a short delay, version 2.7 Hidden Dreams in the Depths will be coming to you on May 31st. The update continues to explore the story of the chasm with a new Archon quest. Players will also be introduced to two new playable characters, Yelan, a Hydro DPS Archer, and Kuki Shinobu, a Support Electro Sword user. There will also be new quests with special limited time rewards, including a drum along festival with a rhythm game and robotic furnishings from helping a toy maker. Meanwhile, this week, Dauntless has delivered patch 1.10.3, featuring Radiant Escalation, a new escalation that takes Slayers to a research facility where they may battle for dynamic new amps including Crash Course, which focuses on stagger damage, Flicker, which grants a brief moment of invulnerability, and Home Field Advantage, which offers a powerful aura for your team. Also new in this update is the Behemoth Alira, a massive winged beast that can change its elements in battle. Defeating this new beast will help you craft the new Glyph Weaver weapons and Spellbound Armor skin, so prepare for battle. New World has released its May update, which focuses on PvP and arenas. The update brings the new 3v3 PvP arenas with a best of 5 win condition. There are new rewards in this arena, including some unique housing items. The PvP rework track in general has also been updated to add PvP experience and Azoth salt currencies. Meanwhile, PvE players can experience the depths in the weekly Expedition Mutator rotation and a continued story arc for the Varangian Knights. Make sure to check out the link below for the patch notes. Moving on, Conqueror's Blade has announced its next season, Helheim, coming June 9th. This free update will begin a new campaign inspired by Viking Raiders. There will be two new units, the four-star Huskarls, who can inspire their allies, and the five-star Varangian Guards, who come with full fury and both offensive and defensive strengths. The update will also offer reworked versions of three maps, a new battle pass, and special third anniversary events. The Season of the Haunted has arrived in Destiny 2. The corrupted space vessel, the Leviathan, has returned, and players must confront nightmares of the past through new content available through August 23rd. Free for players are the Nightmare Containment event, along with a complete redesign for the Solar subclass and Shiro 4 Exotic Sidearm. Players can also purchase seasonal bundles and partake in the season pass to earn additional gear, cosmetics, and more. If you're interested in the sandbox MMORPG Fractured Online, good news, it's currently available to play during a special free week that runs until May 31st, 7 a.m. Pacific Time. This welcomes any player to the game's closed beta to experience all content currently available, including the player-driven economy, the human race area, and various sandbox elements including crafting, exploring, combat, and more. Here's a bit of offbeat news for you. Steamforged Games and Jagex has just revealed the trailer this week for RuneScape Kingdoms Shadow of Elvarg. This is a RuneScape-inspired board game with a lot of tabletop RPG elements, and it can support one to five players in a cooperative campaign. Looks pretty neat, at least, so if you're interested, check out the Kickstarter, which goes live on May 31st. And finally, let's take a quick look at what's free this week on the Epic Game Store. This week is another amazing deal. 
It's Bioshock The Collection, which includes Bioshock Remastered, Bioshock 2 Remastered, and Bioshock Infinite The Complete Edition. If getting a $60 bundle for free wasn't reason enough for you, let me remind you that the Bioshock series is one of the most iconic FPS series for PC and features an absolutely eerie retro sci-fi setting that just has to be experienced. So pick it up while you can. But with that said, that's about it for all the major news and announcements for this week. Be sure to stay safe and keep your families healthy. Like always, you can find more information on the news topics linked in the description below. Feel free to discuss the news or even more news in the comments below. And don't forget to like, subscribe, wash your hands a bunch, hit that little bell icon to get notifications, and of course, share this video. But until next time, guys, that's going to be it for me. I'm James Blonde. See you out there, gamers.